Hello Rad 111 community. This is the next portion lining up the x-ray tube with the wall bucky. Now you will find that there are different ways that you can take an x-ray. The patient can be on the table or in a stretcher and the plate be directly underneath them which would be tabletop or TT. The patient could be on the table with the DR plate in that bucky tray that I just showed you in the previous video and that's considered table bucky. But then we also have wall bucky if the patient is required to stand during the x-ray. If that's the case, I have pulled the x-ray tube out away from the table. I'm now going to hit the ankle button to turn the tube up and there's the wall bucky. So the patient will be standing over there. I've turned it so that the x-ray tube is facing the wall bucky. I now have to center in and get that transverse to lock in to the wall bucky and you'll hear a click. And then when I turn the light on, you can see that the light is on the table bucky face. I'm using those collimator knobs just like I did before to change the light field. And you see how that laser light isn't lined up? So now I'm gonna hit that vertical button and I'm gonna bring it down until it lines up with the black line. And you see how now the crosshairs are in the center. I'll turn the light back on so you can see it. So now the crosshairs are in the center. So on the wall bucky, you actually have an X which marks the central ray location. And then you wanna make sure that your crosshairs line up. So I think of these black lines as a car driving down the road. So there's the two sides of the road and there's the car driving down and there is the intersection. That's where the central ray is going to be. So that's how you work the wall bucky with the X-ray tube. Now here's a handle that allows you to raise it up and down depending on the patient's height. And then here is the tray that you would place the DR plate in. It's just like the tray that's in the table, but it's on the wall bucky.